So you probably noticed a while back that I mentioned I was making root beer and I had Randy come over and taste it. Well, there's a reason for me to have such an interest in root beer. In fact, I have a really big interest in root beer. These are all root beers up here. Well, until you get to the pumpkin juice and from there down their sodas. I had a friend in college named Danny Hankins whose parents were missionaries in Germany. and uh, He grew up around beer and so he is a beer snob but I say that in a nice way not like ooh, I wouldn't drink that more like you should really try this or have you ever tried that he's really enthusiastic about beers and when I was in college he was enthusiastic about getting me to like beer but no matter what he tried and he tried everything uh, it was like yeah that's really great I can taste the orange in the beer or, oh, I can really taste the honey in the beer. But there's always beer, so it still tastes like beer, and I don't like beer. I, I just, I don't, I don't. But this was also at the time when uh, brew pubs and micro brews were really big, especially here in Colorado. So there's one particular brew pub that Danny took me to a lot. It's called Phantom Canyon. It's in downtown Colorado Springs. If you're over there, you should try it. It's pretty neat. Um, but one time I went in there and he said, hey, they brewed a batch of root beer. You should try it. And it was amazing. Brewed root beer is so much better than anything you've ever had if you haven't had brewed root beer. The stuff in the cans just does not compare. This was about the same time that Tammy and I went on an adventure into the mountains and we ended up at this little tiny grocery store, general store on the side of a mountain in the middle of nowhere. And I just happened to ask him, do you guys have root beer? And he said, oh, you should try this stuff. And it was this. It was Henry Weinert's, and that's actually the bottle that we got. And Henry Weinert's, turns out, is one of the better, one of the top tier, good root beer, you know, gourmet root beers. Um, one of the earlier ones, and now that everybody's jumping on board, there's lots and lots of, you know, everybody wants to do the gourmet root beer thing. So, I try them all out. Now those people closest to me know that if I'm gonna do anything and take it seriously, it's gotta have a spreadsheet involved. I know, I'm a nerd, I can't help myself. So, this is my root beer spreadsheet, and all those bottles that you saw up there, they are all here. <clears throat> including when I bought them, where I bought them, a score of, of 1 to 10, and then a short description. So here's Henry Weinert's 1999 uh, Memorial Day Colorado trip. 10, fantastic, one of the best, full-bodied, slightly dry, very brewed flavor, rich honey and vanilla sweetness. And as far as the whole spreadsheet nerd thing goes, I'm going to talk about that later. So that's the long story of how I became a root beer snob instead of a beer snob. And uh, if you're ever over at my house, be sure and ask because I'll probably have some root beer for you to try out. See you tomorrow. Mm -hmm.